Our next guest, make him, very, make him feel very welcome. From General Hospital. Did the dressmaker call? Yes, yes. Uh, the good news is she called and she promised to be here for the fittings. Great. What a relief that is. Well, I'm glad you liked that. And I'm also glad I gave you the good news first. I can't take any bad news today. I can't. All right, sweetheart. I'll, uh, I'll whisper it. The park commissioner called and said that we cannot use the solarium for our wedding in the park. What do you mean we can't? Well, he said he promised it to the city council and local churches for their nativity scene. You can't do that, uh, Sean. I've, I've already, I've already, I've already signed it. They can't back out of this. Honey, uh, honey, I told them that. And he said, well, we can't take away Christmas either. Honey, we, we've already sent the invitations. I know. I said that too. And what did he say? He hung up. Hey, <laughs> no, come hung on, up. come on. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't well, worry, don't worry about this. We'll find another hall to deck, all right? Gonna, I'm going to deck them. I'm going to deck the city council and the park council and the city council uh, uh, and everybody uh, uh, else. Uh, 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 it's Christmas, sweetheart. Oh, bah humbug, and you can quote me on oh, that. Oh, you don't mean that. Come I on. do mean that. I'm going to kill them all. I'm going to kill... I cannot... I hate the park commissioner. I hate, I hate those caterers. I hate those caterers. Why? Do you know what they've done? The guy called me this morning. He has jacked up the prices on me. Honey, honey, I want you to take a deep breath. And calm down. All right? Now, there are always problems with weddings, and ours is no exception, okay? I would love to calm down if you would just tell me how to do it, please. All right. We get organized. Okay. okay. Organized. Right. Now, we take okay. first things first. Okay, first things first. Okay. That's a great idea. First things first. Good. Fine. So, what's first? You tell me. I thought you were going to tell me. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm going to have a hug. First, I will answer the door. Do relax. The door. Now, we open the wedding gifts. Oh, honey, we don't have time for that right now. We have to go to the marriage bureau before it blows up. Robert! Sweetheart, aren't you curious about what's inside of them? No, honey. We have to do this later. Don't you? I'm having a nervous breakdown. Could you tell me I'm a nervous breakdown? Tell me! Uh, look, it's uh, just, uh, it's just your nerves, that's all. Not too steady, huh? Oh, you try getting married sometime. Well, things aren't going too, what? too smoothly right now. Look, Tiff, one of these days, try to get organized, will you? I mean, you're... I'm gonna kill you! Robert, would you, uh, hold down the fort for us, please? This is my house hunting day. Well, you know, just, uh, just for a little while. We'll be back. No, we won't. Uh, we'll be back before one, okay? It'll be later than that. Oh. And don't let her get away! Who? Well, the dressmaker, we couldn't have Tiffany walk down the aisle naked now. No. Would you mind? I haven't had breakfast yet. <sighs> oh, you're cute. <laughs> See ya. Beautiful. Well done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You didn't fill in the date of birth. What's the problem? No problem. You know, Sean, there are no churches. What are we going to do? There are no churches. Uh, sweetheart, this is the season. The churches are busy. A lot of people get religion this time of year. I know. Well, you know, I've heard that if you visualize something, then maybe it comes true faster. You know I do that every Christmas. It never works. I'm trying, okay? Let me just, let me visualize. I visualize a nice place of elegance and, and tradition and any place with that stupid firehouse. Hey, these people are almost through. Come on, I'm filling that day. Why don't you own business, okay? We are not supposed to have secrets. Oh, no. What? 
don't believe this. I'm marrying an older woman. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm only kidding. We're only kidding? Yeah, we'll Next. Her you don't need her crazy life. That changed my mind. Hmm. Tiffany. Tiffany? Did you fill out everything? Yes, everything. Hmm. I can you believe this. We are finally getting married, huh? Hmm? But where? <laughs> Not there, sweetheart. Don't you remember what today is? Don't you remember? Come on. Well, let me check my appointment book. I'll be, I'll get back to you, right? <laughs> Man, sometimes I think the wedding would be much simpler if we just left them out of it. Ah, yes. <laughs> but honeymoons would be a complete bore. Speaking of which, I certainly did enjoy the preview of Conyer Tracks since last night. <laughs> well, I just miss you, that's all. Ah, well, so much for swearing off sex until after the wedding. Well, let's just forget it ever happened, okay? You know, honey, all this time I thought... I was the one who was going to crack. It was just a momentary lap, Sean, that's all. Like for another? Absolutely. Absolutely not. This is our wedding day. <laughs> Why, can you tell me the truth? I mean, how can you, I mean, how can you honestly wear that white dress with a straight face, huh? Just what do you think is so funny about this? Well, come on, it's Miss Pure Heart and her fantasy of virtue. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if this is such a good idea after all. You mean coming back to bed? Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking about marrying you. Are you going to hold this over my head for the rest of our lives? Yes, I am going to hold this over your head for the rest of our lives. I mean, after all, a man like me has been trapped. has got to fight back any way he can. Trapped? Yes, bushwhacked, hog-tied. Dragged kicking and screaming down the aisle of doom. <gasps> oh. Well, if that's the way you feel, <laughs> the wedding is off. <laughs> Come on. Timothy, honey! Honey! <laughs> honey, will you please get back here in the bedroom? I wouldn't want to trap you. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. well, you're going to be very sorry. Will you just be reasonable about this, please? Be reasonable and marry a man that is insensitive like you, not I, I, a millionaire. Oh, come on. Now, can't you take a joke? You have, you have the sensitivity of a slug. Will you please just lighten up on it? Lighten up! Sean, this is our marriage. It's not funny. And as of this minute, there's not going to be a marriage. All right, now, sweetheart, well, here, come here. I'll make it all... Just perfect. leave me alone. No, sweetheart, this, this is even ridiculous yes, for us. Yes, it is ridiculous for us, and I am glad that I finally found out what a type of person you are. Goodbye, Mr. Donnelly, and good riddance. Honey, will you please... Dum, 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 dum. Oh, shut up. Well, yes, I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? Well, I finally wised up. Wait a minute, what are you doing here anyway? Didn't you and the great lover take some, some vow of uh, chastity? Well, abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> you still think this is a joke? Uh, I have no intention of entering into the sanctity of marriage, holy as it is, with somebody who takes it so lightly as a joke. Uh, just nerds, right? Wrong. Wrong. What did he do now? He calls me a fantasy virgin. <clears throat> virgin? <sighs> He said that? Yes, he did. You would be ashamed of yourself. All he said was a fantasy of virtue, that's all. But the same difference. Honey, I was only trying to eject a little bit of humor into proceedings, that's all. Well, you know where you can eject your humor. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> this is not funny. You're starting to sound like her. How on earth did you get onto the subject of her virtue? Look, she is the one who came over here at 2 o'clock in the morning. Not me. I would throw the question. What now? Oh, you're the best man, so do something. Well, you'll do something. Hey. Are you ready to look at a star in the field? <laughs> Drooling fans over there. Autograph hands over there. And my wonderful, <sighs> adoring husband right in the center. Dare I ask if you've had a good day? I've hmm? had a wonderful day. It was a great interview. You know, I think we actually made criminal justice today. But what oh. you expect from ace reporter Tiffany Hill, mm -hmm. Don Lee. Mm -hmm. Barbara Walters, that chair on 2020 is mine. <laughs> Murphy Brown, eat your heart out. I mean, it was fabulous. So, so you think you may have done Paul some good, huh? I think I actually made a hero out of the man. Oh, God. You made a hero out of me. <laughs> so, how was your day? Did you find anything about Connor's father? Uh, well, I, I've made some progress, yeah. You want to tell me about this? No, story? no, I don't want to tell you just yet. Oh, this is it's all rather wonderful. loose and it's unformulated. Uh huh. Okay? Uh huh. You know, I'm glad mm -hmm. I didn't interview you because if I had, you wouldn't mm -hmm. say anything because you were too dull with your answers. You know that? Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh. Am I still dull? Uh, no, that was not dull. <laughs> that was not dull. <laughs> Oh, the 
reward I need for being a great reporter? No, it's got nothing to do with you being a great reporter. Mm -hmm. It's got to do with me loving you very much, and I never want you to forget that. Well, I may need another reminder, you know, you think? Upstairs and uh, change into something a little bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. How's that? Mm -hmm. I'll be upstairs. Mm -hmm.